Skull pole mount. So I was using a, another route that I saw for YouTube, and for the most part, it held up. But um, I think it's just time to upgrade something a little bit more better. But basically, the concept that I originally had was using these uh, ram mounts, and yeah, pretty much had it right there, you know. And that's a, it'll usually be attached to the uh, live scope pole that I created right there. And you get you get the point but time for an upgrade i am instead gonna mount this uh bike mount which i got off of amazon i like the functionality of it because i was like all right well let's see if let's see if this will work so we're about to find out All right, guys. So right now, basically, I'm uh pretty much go ahead and do some pilot holes so I can screw these screws in. You feel me? So basically, be taking these screws right here and bolting down this mount, this bicycle, this bicycle uh holder, basically. I'm gonna find a, a drill bit that'll do a nice pilot hole for this. So I like to size it up. I think this is the one, so which is a 11 and 60 fourths. Right, so now I got the holes in there. One, two, three, four. Get some pilot holes. So basically what I had to go do is get a socket wrench. And uh, basically I'm gonna tighten these screws in that way. Just gotta find the right size first. Go down one more. I'm not tightening it all the way down because I know I might have to adjust them a little bit. So there you go guys it is bolted in there this this shit ain't moving a, a centimeter you feel me so all right so now you got the concept the bike rack is installed on the boat but our purpose is, again is using this for a live scope pole mount still real cheap this is only about i think like 25 dollars maybe 30 bucks off of Amazon, uh, I'll put the link in there for y'all who need it. And again, I'm getting rid of this, so I'm gonna take this off too. 
I guess. So now. So now basically what I'm doing now is putting my live scope pole into the clamp. I'm gonna keep the wire above. Loosen this clamp up so I can fit it all in there. And you might need to, you know, play around with this part to kind of adjust, uh, adjust what height you want it at. Like if I'm sitting in the chair, if it's at a good level or not, I'll pull it down a little bit more. But for the most part, I think, I think it's tall enough. Let's go ahead and clamp it on down. Make sure my wires are not getting pinched. So I'd rather have the wire in the bag. There we go. That way the clamp is not pressing down on the wire. So it's still free back there. Now that you got the pole part clamped in, it ain't going up or down. And then you can pretty much adjust this pole this right here you're gonna push it out more or let's just say you storing it away uh, trailing your boat back on you know you just hit it like that push it in so it's not bouncing everywhere on the you know so the functionality of this is real convenient the functionality of this is real convenient for me because now like if I'm trailering my boat I could lift it up, put the pole up. That has some support, so it's just not bouncing everywhere. So now y'all get the concept. When I'm ready to put it in the water, pull it out. Just like that. Push it in some if you want. Make sure you get it nice and level. Everything is locked in and secure now. When I'm in the boat, I can still freely turn this to angle it where I want it. This is locked in and secure. And if I want to tighten that up, I can as well to prevent it from twisting like that. All you simply do is tighten this one right here, this knob. And that'll prevent it from turning. See? So many, many functions. I feel that's real beneficial. Out of doing the, uh, the bicycle rack. Live uh, transducer pole mount. This really works in my favor really does so again guys this ain't nothing but some pvc i think like one inch pvc um some three-fourths inner pole uh well the inner pole inner pvc that goes inside uh, and I'll show you on another video how I made the pole. I mean, there's plenty of YouTube videos out there where they'll show you how to make the transducer, or I should say the the pole shaft to put the live scope on it. There's plenty of videos out there, but the main thing was upgrading the actual ball mount because I'm gonna take this off and get rid of it. It's trash, and I went with this method of mounting it to the to the boat so it ain't going nowhere 
it's clamped on with this bike rack clamp it ain't going nowhere definitely when i'm on the water and you can tighten and control if you want it to swivel or whatnot so so still had the full functionality of my transducer pole for my live scope only 30 bucks guys now if you want to go out there and, and pay them you know 150 dollars for you know those mounts go ahead if you got it go, go for it but this is just like i said a do it yourself uh option that i feel that's going to work out pretty good so i appreciate y'all tuning in y'all please continue to like comment and subscribe i'm gonna give you some old videos on how i you know do some upgrades and and of course some more fishing videos so y'all already know that's coming but that's it guys